Kevin Rose kicked off the ground there by St Kilda player. I think it was Dowling back to Pitt. Pitt gives it across towards Jenkin. Jenkin left hand to some 15 to 20 yards to Kevin Rose. Number 28 kick coming up. He drives it towards a full forward position. Oh, he didn't hold it and it's gone across. We'll have to wait and see. It's a goal. I got no idea who kicked it. He was given a review. They could do with some fellows with a bit of spring in their step to counter the tall timber that the Collingwood team has launched against them. Adamson holding St Kilda's advance up on the back line. Straight to Pitt on the wing. The light is very poor. If it had been a cricket match, stumps would have been declared about an hour ago. Jenkins. swept away and across the line for another throw in. After the umpire says play on, he picked it up, he handballed it across to Wayne Richardson, trying to kick it off the ground with Sullivan, but he's beaten to it by Wallace. There's a chance for Dunn. Dunn has got it. He'll get away from his opponent, but he's so slippery. He's had a bounce, then he's steady. He's driving it down towards Jenkins. Jenkins is steady. Tassie Johnson did not get back and recover as quickly as Jenkins. To Gary Crane. Crane sees the lead given to him by Gallagher of all people in its centre half forward. The ball hits the ground, pushing the back against Gallagher, and the free kick will go to McKenzie, the Collingwood back pocket player. McKenzie's drop kick is a good one, out towards the wing once again. Jones there, but oh, outmarked splendidly by Jenkin, who had much the better judgment and went at the right time. Jenkin with nobody on the mark, drop kicks the ball up towards the Collingwood area. Lofts and McKenna struggle for it, it hits the ground. A Pack flies out in front, the chances there for the speed of Crane. He's going to be met, but he doesn't fear it. He can't break away, and Jenkins, the man who boots it down, fearless. Lofts and McKenna once again. A magnificent battle between these two. Terry Waters leads in the race of the ball. He's beautifully tackled by Nichols in a flash out to Clifton. Clifton on his left foot is too slow, and his kick is smothered. Jenkins goes up and cleverly to Tottenham. Great football. Tottenham crashing in behind him was Britt. Crane comes in and boots a long one down, looking for Nichols. Jenkins front position up. They go, Jenkins, well done. His judgment in the air is perfect today. That's Fourth Mark. Mark huh? Well done, Jenkins. He's got tons of opposition. That's now standing on the mark is John Nichols. He boots down to centre wing position. Back with umpire sleep. The bounce of the ball. Jenkins in the ruck there. Goes high, gets the trap to it, comes wide. The chance here for Collingwood. Swinging the ball forward through uh, Watt. Watt to centre half forward. Better of most decisions. Coming in for about his 11th kick to Bartlett. Stubbs his toe a little bit. This gives Jenkin the opportunity to mark the ball at the third attempt. And just the... Graham Jenkin from that back line. Drop kicks in towards the centre. The big fellows are up there. In the centre, it's Jenkin in right for Collingwood. Wins the tap down and gives it to Greening. Greening a hand pass to Waters under pressure. He finds the needle opening and gives it to Max Richardson. His kick goes hand pass, it's smothered, in comes Northy, but Jenker moves to the ball again, he can be shepherded it off, but he wasn't, comes to Greening, Greening completely. It's Jenkin in the ruck there for Collingwood, it gets the tap two, it comes clear, chance for Whedon, Whedon down to centre half. Has taken a mark. Jenkins going for a kick up towards the square, Richardson's there and he's marked. Roger had, as I said, although he's been playing well in general play, the Rovers who have been resting on him have cut him to pieces. They've kicked five goals on him to date. This could be six coming up because Richardson's got one on the end of the 10-yard square and he shouldn't miss from there. It's a goal, all right. There they go. Britt comes out with the ball. It's called oh. play on. Oh. Through they go. In comes Cornley of Carlton. Oh. oh, look at this. It's Jenkins of Collingwood to get it. No doubt. Ted, this short game is deliberate. Yes. Yes, I think so. It's good tactics by Carlton, too. Oh, beautiful drop kick by Graham Jenkins. Knocked away by Thompson. Ten minutes into the first quarter. Butch Gale, comments. Oh, I don't know. No certainties in football, Mike. It's, it's too early to say what's happening, but I'll tell you what, it's a nice contest. Up they go. A nice hit down there by Dean. Snapped up and kicked clear by Jenkins up towards centre half. Oh! Oh! Got that very hard oh! Oh! Yes. A 15 yard penalty and... Uh, a correct decision again by umpire Kraut. He could kick this. He's only 40 yards out now. Directly in front. Well, they're really roughing each other up. 
It's on its way from Terry Waters. Another one to the Magpies. Their second goal. Well, that's another good one for them. Collingwood 2-1 to Colton. One goal straight. Well, look at this boy go. Bill gets his kick now. Down to the halfback flank on the member stand side. Big Jenkins is in there. And he'll be played the mark for oh, Terry. Oh, gee, playing some quick marks, Teddy. Oh, he's playing at the Jenkin. I was right the first time. Oh, I, I didn't, didn't think he held that long enough. Oh, I did, really, to be honest. Jenkin now kicks down forward. Tudlingwood and Carlton. Collingwood into attack. The scoreboard reads Collingwood 5 2 to Carlton. Five goals. I put it. Here's the hit out to Nichols to Hall. Oh, and the free kick will go here to Kevin Hall. Jenkin and Nichols both uh, very determined there. The ball up by Frouse was quite wide, letting it go. In goes Jack and hits down towards Tottenham. Thompson has it now. He sprints. He gets tackled. Hand pass. A punch away by Greening. Greening over towards the half forward flanking. Butters up again and hand passes to Tottenham. It goes to Robertson. Robertson tries to get it across the plane. It doesn't come off. And big uh, Jack and Jack and getting a fair bit of attention. But uh, Jack and Collingwood kicks towards centre half forward for two. Yeah. But the player is allowed to go on. Quirk comes in with the ball. Greening is there. He threw it out. Big Jack comes out. Swings on his left foot. Kicks it up to the full forward position. Gilding. Listen to that crowd. Jenkin hits down, taken away by Tuttenham again, who's playing a remarkable game. His kick goes up towards Gould and McKenna. But now, comes out with the ball. Jackson swings around, he's grabbed by Potter. Ball! Oh. Holding the ball. Oh, give him credit, he tried. Oh, yes. Potter now tries a short one out there, and it's marked by Jenkin. Jenkins of Collingwood plays on immediately. Collingwood have got the loose man going. It's Dean over there. Dean, nobody near him, but he goes over. But he still gets his kick. Up towards the forward pocket on that outer side. Up goes Waters. Dunn's in there. To Butch, by the look of it. Yes, it looks that. Well, it's negative tactics if that's the case, Mike. Well, that's the hanging around there as Jenkins marks. Now, this fella starts taking his grabs. There'll be a bit of trouble for Carlton. The magnificent mark, uh, Jenkins. He's had a great season. There's his kick. Going down to the goal square. There's no... 21. Five minutes, Mike. 24. There's a throw in now. Jenkin up with Jones. Tapped down and a big punch by Jenkin. Goes out to Barry Price. A beautiful player in the centre. Long kick up the centre half forward. Tuddy's there. Oh, look at this. He can't beat them all. Waters takes it over the back. Oh, he took that away from them. Over the Brit. Brit goes for the big kick. But can I do it better with Gould? He can't judge the flight of the ball. He's pushed. And a free kick free will kick. be played. No, it will not. Picked up by Thornley. Thornley gets his kick. Adamson takes it for Collingwood on the half volley. Here's big jerker Jenkins for Collingwood. He kicks down forward. Eight points. And good comeback by Carlton. There's the bounce now. Nichols up with Jenkins. And a free kick will go to Jerker Jensen. For Collingwood Rupton. Nichols tried to cheat on that one, but Crouch was uh, a bit more determined than he thought. Here's the kick by Jenkins. Now going right up towards the full forward area. In goes Dunn. To the ground, Kevin Hall, who was injured early in the first quarter has come back and played a very solid game. As Ted said, every player on the ground has contributed something. It's been great to watch. Up they go, Waters from behind, Jenkins in the middle of the pack, and Jenkins is paid the mark. <coughs> He's at centre-half back for Collingwood. <laughs> that breeze getting quite fresh. Jenkins in towards centre-half. Third quarter, midway through, Carlton with 26 points down. Boy, there they go. Taken by uh, Wayne Richardson. His kick down forward. Every uh, facet has been shown up here. A kick now. Almost into the centre. Big Graham Jenkins goes up for Collingwood. And he will be paid the mark. What is on for Collingwood and Tully is off. Ricky Watt on, Tully off. The kick now from Jenkins goes down towards centre half for Thompson. Uh -huh. Waiting for Crouch to bounce the ball. There's the bounce, the players move in for it now. Big Jenkins gets up high, taps it down, taken by Skipper Terry Waters. Waters down to Woodson, half forward for Collingwood. Wayne Richardson Look is Look at marked. McKenna! And McKenna's on his own. Maybe too late, but no, look at this. McKenna, he's kicked seven. He's kicked seven, he'd be 45 yards out. Forwards, fullbacks, the sentiment, the Ruckman, the Rovers. 12 minutes gone in the final quarter. As the ball is kicked by Clifton towards the outer flank, Jenkins knocks it away for Collingwood. Price comes in, cleverly taps it over to Dean. Dean of Collingwood drives down now to the forward zone. McKenna! McKenna swings around. He shoots down at the big ones. Here's a go. The man in front will care, but couldn't pull it in. Thompson's oh, going. Oh, must play it. 
Thompson's free. He had to play it to Thompson. Thompson has kicked three goals. Three goals to Thompson. He would be 20 yards out directly in front. 20 yards out. Give or take an inch. Directly in front. Kicking to the Richmond end. Up he comes. Oh! oh. My golly, that was close. I thought he'd missed it. It's a sleuth in, Mike. Oh. In by about a foot. Well, it's a handy goal, good field. Robbie Walls coming away from full forward as the centre bounce. Jenkins gets up, taps it down, but Waters kicks on with his left foot. Up the full forward, McKenna's there, goal from behind. 26 minutes of the final quarter gone. Waiting for the kick out now. The message now will be slow it down. Oh, I wouldn't take that risk, Teddy. That must attack. Clifton goes straight up the ground. He's looking for Jenkins. Jenkins was held. He'll get the free. I don't think there's any doubt about that one. Oh, could be a penalty too. Should be. Ah, oh, he's letting it go. <laughs> Jenkins now to take this kick. The heat really on. Jenkins kicks out wide to the flank position on that outer side. Could be a free kick to Waters. But Dean of Collingwood comes out with it. Dean down forward. Gould is waiting there. Mc In Melbourne. The umpire, Don Jolly, bouncing the ball. Nichols of Carlton won the toss. And Carlton will be kicking with the breeze to the Richmond end. The first free kick of the match. Going to Collingwood. Going to big Graham Jenkins. He will be doing battle in the ruck throughout the day with John Nichols of Carlton. Waiting for Jenkins to take his kick. Collingwood is kicking up to the scoreboard end. Jenkins takes his kick. It's a nice long one too. Deep over centre half forward. The big man's out of side. Thompson's there. Big Jones goes with him. Taken by Crosswell of Carlton. Crosswell in towards the centre of the ground. Oh! Big jerk of Jenkins almost lost his head there. But Jenkins for Collingwood kicks down forward. McKenna comes out again. He's swamped however. But he's got the ball. He's appealing for the mark. He's paid it. Oh, he couldn't pay the mark. He'd have to ball it up. He's paid it though. He's paid it. I think he should have had a shot then. Thornley now drives out the ball to halfback flank on that out of sight. They fly high. Here's Wayne Richardson with the ball. Richardson now hooks it around towards centre half forward. And big Tomo. Len Thompson is waiting there. And he would be 50 yards out directly in front. This is a fellow that was under a cloud all the week, Mike, with injury, but he's done the job up to date. Thompson kicking to the scoreboard end. There's a kick on its way. He'll get the distance, but accuracy is offline. Jenkins. They fly high. He's Jenkins will it. be paid the mark. No doubt. 12 minutes gone in this first quarter. It's all Colling. Stick the work centre half forward. Gould comes Ooh. through. Oh, player tackle there was Wayne Richardson. And it's a free kick to Wayne Richardson. Number two of Colling. The vice captain and a great little player has had a fine season here in Victoria. There's McKenna leading. Wayne Richardson's gone for the long one, though. Right over the top, and Jenkins has dropped in behind him and marked. Wait, a bit testy there. Making sure the players hold these marks before he pays them. Crosswell now kicks down forward. Jessalink goes in that lot. Nichols oh, comes out Jenkins. there, but Graham Jenkins takes a towering mark for the Magpies in defence. Michael, that was his body weight that got that mark for him. He pushed the two players way out in front of him. Kick in towards the centre of the MCG. They fly high, taken by Tuttenham, who's in everything. Tuttenham now up to the half forward flank on the middle. Are you kidding about that? This is still a contest. There's Jenkins hitting down. Potter, his centre half back has it. Held, but gets away with it. A Lucky. punch again by Greening. They're playing on well. Collingwood, Waters comes through. They're showing remarkable pace. A hand pass back to Greening. Greening's kicking towards Britt. He smothers the ball. And Jolly will come in and bounce the ball. A good decision. The Canberra Conjurer. <laughs> yes, for sure. Adamson takes this hit out nicely. Kicks safely out towards the flank. But Hall now takes his kick from the Richmond end. A chance here for Mark to uh, Jenkins of Collingwood. He's marked all right. And Temper's getting frayed out there now. There's Collingwood getting more confident every minute. Could be a blow up any given moment. It was almost Look one before this. a magnificent kick down forward. Dunn's there, but she's around a little. Appears to cop one in the back. Up goes Jenkins. Oh, hits down nicely. Back in the centre. Don Jolly bounces the ball. Jenkins goes for a big knock away, but uh, John Nichols was equal to the task. Oh, Jenkins gave away a free kick. All right, yes, Jenkins but free. he almost got away with it. Jenkins now out wide here. And a chance for Greening to take it. Greening of Collingwood with the ball. Boys kick, it's a glorious drop kick, about 30 yards out from the big sticks. Up. And final has really 
Made wonders for them. 25 and a half minutes gone. Here comes Greenham of Collingwood now. Putting them forward. He's driven to the half forward flank on the outer side. Tudman. Well, they can't relax or they're gone. Up goes Jenk and he gets a lovely tap down. It's taken by Price. Price pushes the ball in front of him, runs into trouble and gets a free kick. Don't be a free kick. He's passed it beautifully. Oh, glory. Oh, oh. must be 15 yards. Oh, that's not like Tommy Gould. Wayne Richardson really felt that one, I can tell you. Well, you saw it. Did he keep the distance, Mike? He could. My word, he could, Ted. Wayne yes, Richardson would be 55 to 60 yards out, directly in front, kicking to the scoreboard end goal. He's kicked one. And he thinks he can kick it, too. It's on its way. It's going to drop short, however, then it's not over yet, baby. We've got a long way to go. Butch Gale. At the Tottenham, the hit out it. To the flank. Malcare kicks. It's taken by Price. Price in the centre half back position. But now, now, up towards centre half forward. Big uh, Graham Jenkins is there for Collingwood. And he's taken the mark. Look at the oh, Collingwood oh, players oh. around that position, Mike. They're everywhere. Good move it on quicker than that. Jenkins now kicks down towards centre half forward for the make of difference. True. Bounce of the ball, there they go. Jenkins gets it, it goes to Terry Waters. Waters down here towards McKenna. Kevin Hall backing back. The kick now goes into the centre of the MCG, over the centre. The players set themselves and Jenkins is marked for Collingwood. Oh, don't do it. Jenkins now goes wide, he's out there looking for Dean. And Dean is marked for Collingwood. Don't tell me Rosie's going to go down again so closely. What a fight back by the Blues. Dean now a long one down forward. They come out to...